that was pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Not super good. Good no. thing there's a napkin there. Yeah. Day four? Welcome to day four. Day four, part two? Take two? Take two. <laughs> First time, sound didn't work, so we're doing it a second time. <clears throat> yeah. So we have one bottle, not the normal two that you guys have seen the past couple days. Because we drank the other one, not realizing it as we were recording and no sound happened. Um, anyway, so today we have a Hungarian Koniglish, which I... I'm gonna pretend that I've never had before, <clears throat> um, but I was very excited to try it when we when we did open it up because it was something that I had never experienced. Um, and I'm expecting it to be like high acid, light, zesty, fruity, mineral. Let's see if that's actually what it is. <clears throat> oh, oh, we got a bottle. Show. bottle. What's it called? Disheveled Taylor? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Poor Taylor. He's so disheveled. It's spelled Taylor as in like uh, clothing Taylor. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Shoot. <clears throat> so, yay, exciting. Oh, sorry, the scratchy sound. Oh, Remember. You want to try the other food with this too. Yeah, I want to taste test this against something else that we have. Okay. So, exciting. Um, cheers. cheers. We remembered. <laughs> it's only day four. <laughs> <laughs> definitely has like a, a high floral aroma to it. <clears throat> Very similar to like a Gewürztraminer or a Riesling. Salivary glands are like going crazy. Mm, yep, there go the cheeks. Mm -hmm. Everything I expected. <laughs> How did you know? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, and the food, what do we have today? It's a Hungarian mushroom soup. And it, the recipe has the Hungarian way of saying it behind it. I have no idea. So it's Hungarian mushroom soup with mushrooms, obviously, potatoes, carrots, um, and then a gluten-free that word for like pasta roux it's like you, your gravy yeah it's roux, roux. Yeah. gluten-free roux which made it this creaminess and i'm super excited because i'm part hungarian don't know much about it but i'm excited to try this food. And what are these little these little balls oh yeah they're <laughs> they're pinch balls that you pinch and roll together also gluten-free they're just basically flour egg and that's about it and then you pinch them together and put them in for about 10 minutes after you've boiled everything and you're good to go. I don't think I've ever had this before. <laughs> Maybe a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it's just as good. I agree. Yeah. I agree. This has got to be, this is up there in like one of my top five favorite recipes that we made for this. <clears throat> Spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. You'll see what the other ones are later <laughs> but i just love the mushrooms in here i just absolutely love mushrooms so anything with mushrooms i'm very happy i do think that this wine goes really good with it like the acidity and the floral characteristics are very muted when you drink the wine with the stew because the creaminess and heaviness of the mushrooms kind of cancel each other out so they pair pretty well together what do you think i like this wine with the stew also, okay. do you want to go into rating the wine? Um, sure. What do we think of the wine? Very good. <laughs> I wonder I what think, I gave it last time. I think the first time I said outstanding, but I, I also said, <clears throat> I believe, because I was partial to it because mm -hmm. I'm part Hungarian, but today I'm thinking differently. Uh-oh. I say very good. I think I might have said very good in the first time around, too. No one's going to know, so it's fine. Um, <clears throat> I like it. It's different. It's unique. It has, like, the interesting characteristics, like I said, of Gewürztraminer and Riesling, but it is dry. It's very acidic. Um, and it's light and bright and citrusy. I say very good as well. Cool. <clears throat> there we go. Yay for Delicious. us. Delicious. 
This one, the the roux, I had to bit, mix it in with the Hungarian paprika, and it really just added like a reddish color to it. But then when I added it to the soup, it really just instantly went to like cream. Mm. So it's a very <laughs> fun experiment to do. Excellent. <clears throat> mm. Uh, Anything else? Or... No. Okay. Thanks. Bye.